It's been a week now, and I don't know why I'm still playing this game. So I was trying this game that I got from Steam, and my friend told me that's not a game. It's a training lab for some other first person shooter titles, and I didn't know about that. I feel so dumb and decided to give this game some actual try. Then I downloaded Counter Strike. Oh, I was low, yeah. Bro, not again, what the heck? Wait, that's a bot. The heck? Okay, don't get me wrong. This game is fun. Even I played it for a couple of weeks. It kind of gave me the similar feelings of Stand Up 2 that I used to play on my mobile. And I don't remember playing that for more than a week. So you know where this is going. Yep, I got bored of CS and never played it again. After a few days, I downloaded another game. That's right, Valorant. They are basically the same game where bullets doesn't go where you shoot. First match and I was already confused. You are not good, you are doo doo shit bruh. Get off oh. the game. Get off the effing game bruh. You are a shit. You are shit, you are shit, you are shit. Okay. <laughs> I had hey. no idea what's going on. One I'm surprised we lost remaining. the match. Attackers I played some more win. matches and yeah, lost them all. That was really a bad start. All I know was, it's time to stop. And I did stop. On the next day, back in the game, I thought instead of buying a random gun and then giving it to my opponent, I should just know more about the weapons. So I went to the range. After fooling around for one hour, I realized I never played a game like this before. Everything from movement to aim is just so restricted. And why there's a crosshair if the bullets don't go that way. And you cannot move while firing because recoil will get mad. With all this restriction, I felt like maybe Valorant is not for me. I should just quit. Then I remembered the reason I downloaded this game in the first place. I wanted to try something new. But now that I have it, I'm running away. No, let's grind this game for real. I started practicing on the training drums. I was only burst firing and that was working pretty well. But my reaction time, that was so bad. I take too long to transfer my aim to a different target. So I had to work on that too. With doing all this, my second day was over. For next two days, I was only doing training and death matches. Having almost no spawn time in deathmatch was really helping me know how my training was taking shape. Only one thing was going in my head. Stand, shoot. Stand, shoot. Stand, shoot. That's it. But my left hand with the keyboard was not listening. Sometimes I was still shooting, one firing. It's probably because I was new on the PC. Now I have three days left. I started playing standard mode. When I was losing or not feeling confident, I played deathmatches in between. Last player standing. Spike down, seat. Prepare for hellfire! Embarrassing. Spike carriers down. Spike down, A. I tried to give everything that I've learned so far. Definitely, I didn't make a huge difference, but I was better than before, and I was happy about it. Day 7, guess what's my rank? Well, unranked. You need to be level 20 to play competitive matches and playing death matches for half of the week was not giving me enough XP to level up. But wait, it's not over yet. If you enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments then I will upload the 30 days of my Valorant progress. This is my first time making this type of content so do let me know if you want more of this. And a special thanks to Sprague for inspiring this video and make it possible.